Andy, can you tell me what Bridget is doing at the moment? Uh, <laughs> Bridget is uh, navigating uh, back to a point over here so we can evac it from the side. Uh, basically started off over in this this location here where it's quite planned. Uh, in terms of planning, I just told it to come through the direct route and come around to where we want to go. But as it's navigated along, it's found that there's this what it can see is a wall of obstacles because the rocks are over a certain height which is classified as an obstacle. So what it's doing is planning and working out the safest way to get through this rock field to get to its final goal. Uh, so it's now just found that there's an area around those rocks where there aren't any obstacles and so it's navigating. So at the moment it's doing a point turn now because it needs to point the vehicle more to the uh, in this direction. Uh, so it will rotate around. Okay, and it's doing all this uh, autonomously without your yeah. input? So basically the only input it had was the, uh, it knew where it started, it was told where it needs to go to, everything else in between is completely autonomous. Excellent. So it, the, in the, it, when it's doing this, it's taking images with the, the gold cameras on the top, on the mast, it's using them to build a 3D uh, digital elevation model of the, the scene you can see in front of it. It's also using visual odometry for those images to actually calculate its uh, position in the world. And then it's path planning along those elevation models it's produced to calculate where the safe route is. It's great. Thank you very much.